Hey guys, it's Jire, and I'm going to be showing you how to download and install Charlatano as well as how to use it. So, the first thing you got to do before you do anything is uh, take a look at our guide down here. Okay, so this is the beginner's guide in text form, and that really helps out when you're trying to follow along in this video guide. So, the first thing you gotta do is, of course, visit the GitHub repository, which is github.com slash gyre slash charlatano. Then you need to click on the releases tab, right there. And then you need to download the latest release zip archive, which is this right here. It says source code, and in uh, two parentheses it says zip. Then, you need to extract the contents from the archive to any folder, like for your desktop, for example, which you can do. Now, this step's pretty important. Make sure you have Java Development Kit 8 or later installed. This is also a shorthand JDK. So if you just Google JDK download, and then you click on the uh, first link, Oracle link, I'm going to make this white so you guys don't get confused. And then you click on the download um, on the left side. And then right here at the top, Java SE Development Kit AU131. It might be different uh, at a later date, but just get pretty much the top one. Click on Accept License Agreement radio button. And then um, you're probably going to want to click on the JDK-AU131-Windows-X64.exe. If you're on 64-bit Windows, if you're on 32-bit Windows, you will need the i586 EXE. But yeah, most of you guys, if you don't know what, um, if you don't know what platform you're on, just go with the 64 one. You're gonna download that. You're gonna open it. It's an installer. Just go through the installer, and um, I mean, yeah, I already have it, so I'm not gonna go ahead and do that. So, the next step is you open up the folder, which I put on my desktop, and then you see what you do? You double click on the build script, which is also build.bat, if you have your extensions shown, and you just gotta wait for it to complete. So I'm running it right now. Can take all the way up to around 30 minutes, because it does have to download all the dependencies to, uh, to actually build. But subsequent builds will actually be very, very fast because the files are already downloaded. So if there's ever an update or whatever, um, it'll be a lot, lot faster the next time that you run uh, the build script. But yeah, I mean, typically the range is around two minutes or so. It's typically what it takes, but just be warned, it can take like up to 30 minutes. And you know it's done after it says build successful and it says the total time and press any key to continue which you just press any key and then this thing will go away. So, after you do that, you will now have a build folder. Now you wanna go into this build folder and you will have a folder in there called Charlatano and then the version afterwards. So Charlatano is 1.0.2 as of the uh, date of this video. And really this folder is what the actual cheat is. Like this is the final cheat build. Everything else, this is just source code, this is just project files. This stuff, you don't really need to use the cheat. But in the actual build folder, that is the cheat right there in this folder called Charlatan 1.0.2. So if you go into this folder, it'll look like this. And this is what a built version of Charlatan looks like. You have the Kotlin compiler, you have the uh, Charlatan jar file, you have a README, you have a license, and you have a settings folder with all this stuff in it, and you have a start script. That is what the final cheat looks like. So if you're giving it to a friend, you want to give it to a friend for them to be really easy, you want to put up a download on your website, anything like that, you will just take this folder, you can zip it up or whatever, and then you can share it like that. And this is a fully working version of the cheat. This is These are all the real files you need to uh, actually use the cheat. So anyway, that's pretty much how to install it. 
Now let's go on to how to actually use it. And to do that, we need Counter-Strike Go open. So just give it a second. Report by me, man. You guys like my name there? But yeah, let's just go to aimbots. And uh, let's start using the cheat. Okay, so of course to run it, you just double click on Star Chalatano. And this will open up a black window that has nothing in it, should have nothing in it. This is completely normal. That means the cheat's working good. It has nothing in it. If you look in game, you can see we have ESP. We have aimbot. If you hold on left click, we have RCS. Somewhere that I can RCS. Have RCS. We have the force aimbot. If you click the back button on your mouse. And yeah, that's what we have by default. So let's start playing with the settings. So if you go into the settings, first setting that I recommend everybody checks out is the scripts.kts file. Now, it should usually op open it with something like Notepad++, Sublime, any IDE that can, uh, any IDE that supports Kotlin will work. Pretty much anything you can open this up with. <laughs> And inside here, these are your toggles for different scripts. So by default, we have RCS enabled, ESP enabled, flat aim enabled, and that's it. So say you want to go ahead and you want to use, I don't know, say you want to use the bunny hop, which I like to use. Just set it to true. And if you want to disable it, disable something, say you want to disable ESP, set it to false. That's it. So, yeah. So the enable bunny hop, if you read this important note, which actually is important, um, you need to unbind, first of all, the bunny hop key, which is space. And then you need to bind mouse wheel up and mouse wheel down to the jump command. And you do this in game. Unbind, space. Bind M wheel up to plus jump. Bind M wheel down to plus jump. Okay? So this makes it so that when you use your scroll wheel, you can jump. So, yeah, that's needed for the bunny hop. And yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it to have bunny hop. So the next setting that I always recommend people check out is the aim file aim.kts and if you go in here the most important things that you need to mess with are the aim speed min and aim speed max so basically what these control is the playback speed of the aimbot so the lower these numbers are the faster that it will get and the higher these numbers are the slower the aimbot will be so if i want to make it really really crazy fast Maybe I'll do something like 8 to 12. That's really, really fast, like beyond professional fast. So let's start with the cheat. Super fast. You can just destroy people like this. Like, oh, you see this guy to the right? Dead. This guy? Dead. Dead. Well, I, I, I sprayed, but yeah. You get the point. I also be how it's working. But yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. That's all you guys really need to know. Everything else, just, you know, basically look at the description above it, and you'll be able to know what it does. And um, yeah, so I'll close out everything real quick. So thanks for watching the video. Final things I need to tell you guys, if you would please star my project by using the star button on GitHub, watch my project, and even contribute something to the project by forking it, that would all be very, very appreciated. And if you do need help, 
don't recommend really going to our Discord. I recommend um, more along the lines of coming to issues and pressing new issue, and then you'll be able to type in your issue. And doing this gives it a higher chance for me to actually respond. And the more effort that you put into your issue, the more likely I am to respond as well. So that's pretty much it. If you need help with something, you have a suggestion, whatever, just make an issue forward. It makes it very, very easy for me to deal with. Um, so, yeah, I mean, that that's pretty much it. Also, since this is now posted on a lot of forums, um, you might get a response from me if if you reply to the thread on the forum, but it's possible that you won't get a reply because I don't go on the forum that much. But, um... But yeah, do recommend going on issues, and uh, if you star, you watch, I will be very, very likely to respond to you. <laughs> so yeah, so anyway, thank you guys for watching, thanks for using the cheat, and uh hope to see you cheating in game against me, so I can beat you. See you.